Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your, I don't know what this is, this is going to just be a quick reading for you, okay? Alright, so let's see, we're going to see what's going on for you, your person, the outcome, and your advice, alright? Thank you to everyone who likes, share, comments, subscribes to the channel, it is much appreciated. Please continue to do so, guys. Alright, let's get into it. All right, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. How does Aquarius person feel? How does Aquarius person feel? How does Aquarius person feel? Thank you, Lord God, for blessing these cards, for blessing Aquarius with a message. So your person feels like the king of wands. Um, they feel like they're in a leadership position or they're going to take the lead here they feel like they have the power they're desiring you they have a fire burning in their heart for you you could be dealing with the leo this person has their eye on you they're focused directly on you and what they want from you they could possibly want to do something big for you or with you or including you this person could be married uh or in a relationship this person is acting from a place of passion. Um, this person is spontaneous. How they feel about you is uh, they're on fire for you. They have a lot of passion, a lot of desire for you. Um, I mean, possession. I don't know if they want to possess, possess you or, or hold you or something of that nature. How does Aquarius feel about this person how does Aquarius feel about this person you guys have some good sex too if you are having sex with this person uh, they could be thinking about that they could be thinking about how they can make that happen again or ever um, right they're thinking about how they can tame you or you tame them or something about wild free and, and taming how does Aquarius feel about this person Two cards came out. All right. The Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles. So you feel like there needs to be significant change in order for you guys to grow this. The seed has already been planted for growth. The beginning doesn't dictate the end. You understand there's going to have to be a lot of hard work, diligence here. You feel like the opportunity is here for you to have something solid, stable, maybe even you know, start up a new sexual connection that's coming up again because the Ace of Pentacles talks about the manifestation of a relationship or the physical nature of a relationship. So you feel like the opportunity is destined for you to start something and grow this relationship with this person. You want to do something big, monumental with this person. Maybe you want to get engaged, you want to move in, you want to make a large purchase that involves this person. You feel like this is your soulmate, also with the Wheel of Fortune here. You feel like something about destiny and fate. Something is fated. I don't know if you guys met by happenstance or coincidence or it's something about a cycle also. Um, ending, beginning. You feel like you just want growth with this person, but you want solid growth. And what's the outcome between Aquarius and their person? What's the outcome outcome here? What's the outcome between Aquarius and their person? What's the outcome? What's the outcome between Aquarius and their person? Outcome, outcome. All right. The outcome between Aquarius and their person. Okay. Seven of Wands. All right, so the star card. So this the Seven of Wands talks about fighting for what you have. I don't know if you... It, it also talks about... Um, turbulence in a relationship
it talks about having been chosen or having, yeah, having been chosen or getting, getting the victory, but needing to fight your way, your position here. I don't know if there are people around or others. The outcome is you getting what you want. Hopes, wish, dreams fulfilled. Is reconciliation, is coming back together, is a renewal. This also talks about magic. It talks about prosperity and success. It talks about uh, psychic abilities, especially in, if we're speaking in regards to the opposite sex. Maybe you guys have a telepathic connection, something about magic and telepathy and um, somebody penetrating your field or the other way around. I'm not exactly sure, but it's like somebody's willing to fight for this. They're fighting for what they already have established. And what they want to continue working towards. Um, there are also maybe like some naysayers or people who don't want this to don't want you guys to come together. They don't want to see you have what, what you deserve or who you deserve. Um, let's see. And what's the advice for Aquarius here? What's the advice? Advice for Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius. There's a lot of healing. Also, you may be just trying to be in your little bubble right now. Um, the outcome may be you trying to heal this connection or the other person's trying to heal. The outcome is the nine of wands. Okay. So it's a rocky relationship. Somebody may, um, come to a determination. Do I fight for this? Do I let it go? Maybe taking a step back from the drama. Yeah. Um, being undecided with the two of swords. Do you continue to fight for this? Do you continue to stand your ground in terms of this relationship? Do you reconcile? Is there a union? How does it look when you come back together? Are you willing to cooperate with this? Are they willing to cooperate with you? Um, letting bygones be bygones. Weighing the pros and the cons of this situation. There's been a power struggle. We see that here with all these, with the two wands cards. It's a power, like somebody doesn't want to give in. Someone doesn't want to give up. Um, also staying blindfolded to what you really see before you. Um, acting as if the elephant in the room is not in the room. It's better to walk away from this right now. The deal is how either you feel or somebody else feels. We're going to go over to the extended to see what your person wants to tell you and what's the best advice or the best option for you in this connection it looks like it could work but there's a lot of work um there's you guys have to work your way back and it has to make sense it has to make sense logically like why are you coming back together? I mean, you already know that you're soulmates and you love or you like each other. But um, sometimes that's just not enough to stay together. So uh, with that two of swords here, somebody has taken. Leah, it looks like you guys are on a pause. It could be temporary. Trying to figure things out mentally. Um, somebody's also questioning their actions. Maybe even questioning their motives. What are they doing all this for? All right, Aquarius. So we're going to go over to the extended to see what your person wants to say to you. Let's see. I'll pull some cards here. What is this person? What does Aquarius person want to say to them? What does Aquarius? Okay. What does Aquarius person want to say to them? What does Aquarius person want to say to them? Okay. 
Okay. What does Aquarius person want to say to them? What does Aquarius person want to say to them? What does Aquarius? Okay. Okay. I will say some of you are dealing with a water sign. Okay. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, another Aquarius. It could be anybody, but. Very interesting what this person wants. I think you will be pleasantly surprised of what they want to say to you. Maybe an extended if that is something you want to do. The link for the extended reading is below. Purchase that at the website. And then the extended comes to your email. Thank you guys. All links are below. You can always donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. You can uh, book your own reading at the website level. You can ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Thank you, Aquarius. Take care. Many blessings.